Prosecutor Rachel Mitchell says she would not prosecute Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Joining us right now to explain more, our political analyst, Wendy Patrick. Wendy, good morning. Good morning. Uh, two things here. First of all, not surprising seeing how the Republicans hired her, that she is saying she would not prosecute <laughs> Kavanaugh. So that's the big, well, duh. Uh, <laughs> secondly, let's take it from a legal perspective. Why not prosecute? What is she looking at in terms of the facts of the case? Well, what she was explaining is the quantum of evidence you would need to initiate a prosecution. Sure. And obviously, you don't have that here. In fact, nobody's arguing that you have that here. And nobody with any sort of legal knowledge of the law or with the television set who's been watching the analysis. Uh, the question is not whether these charges could ever sustain a criminal prosecution, but whether there's enough evidence to cast doubt on the qualifications and the suitability for Judge Kavanaugh to have mm -hmm. a seat on the highest court of the land. So what she said actually is relevant to those that are watching that are maybe the swing votes. All of this, including the investigation, the FBI investigation, really only are geared to a very small audience of senators who could go either way. That's why mm. the FBI is involved? That's is just right. to find that information? Mm -hmm. That's exactly right, Shali, because the FBI normally, they, they investigate federal crimes. Sometimes they do background investigations on, on people like Judge Kavanaugh. Remember, they've done Six. six, count them, six. <laughs> yeah. So you could this call is this number a, seven. This is number seven. Most people joke they couldn't survive one. And, you know, one of the things that has people worried, uh, Raul and Shelley, yeah. is do is this the new normal in terms of what background investigations sure. look at? How many beers could you drink in college? Um, did you did you characterize the drinking games correctly? Yeah. Remember, there's been much mention now of I mean, we started out with Roe versus Wade and now we're on to beach week beer yeah. and, and as of yeah. last night, bar fights, the, the ice throwing incident. Is this now what background investigations look like? That has a lot of people worried that need to go through them themselves. It seems like we're witnessing a whole new level of mudslinging because this isn't a political campaign so much as it is this confirmation. So right. we're the FBI investigation, it's just for those few senators who are going to make this decision, correct? What is the expectation? Because Gorsuch went through the process and he got on the court. He was a Trump selection. He is a conservative. What, what changed with this guy? What, what are we expecting from this guy that we're not... Uh, What's the difference between the two, in your opinion? It's a great question. And uh, the Gorsuch nomination, that was more of a swap because he replaced Scalia. Sure. That was uh, also a conservative. This is very different. And then you have a conservative that's replacing somebody who was more of a moderate. Yeah. That is one of the reasons that the confirmation hearing was so rigorous. Remember, so they're the fighting for that swing vote, they're perhaps, fighting, on the court. Absolutely. But he won't even be a swing vote. He's more conservative. So it, it matters more in terms of the constitution of the court hmm. going forward to confirm Kavanaugh than to confirm Gorsuch. Now, having said that, you bring up a great point. What must those other justices be thinking? Remember, some yeah. of them were, were unanimously confirmed right. back in the day. Um, but the FBI is on a shot clock. It's what can they come up with in a week? At the end of the week, we may be in the same position we were in last Friday. And according to Mitch McConnell, they will Let, take a vote. Let's talk about that week, because uh, I heard this on the media circuits yesterday. One week, how much could they possibly find out in, in a week? Plenty. Remember really? how long the Anita Hill uh, investigation took? Three days. Three days. They are an incredible organization filled with talented men and women that no doubt are working round the clock to hmm. be able to determine who they're going to interview. But also remember that their scope is limited to current credible allegations. Right. This isn't the Mueller probe, and it's not a, a taxpayer funded. If something comes up this week, they're not looking at it. Fishing expedition. That's right, right. right. They can't do it. They can't use it for that purpose. I don't remember the FBI uh, doing an investigation on this scope where they're on the clock, where they say, well, you got three days, go. I don't don't remember, they usually have free reign? And, I hey. don't remember any kind of a, a confirmation process. This is a series of firsts, Raul. So yeah. Uh, the, the next step is ours to guess because this is unprecedented territory, but this is a compromised position. Sure. Uh, despite the fact that some people think that Democrats keep moving the goalposts, it will be completed in a week yeah. and they will present their what they found to the White House if they find anything new. After all this, will Kavanaugh sit on the Supreme Court? I think he will. Okay, we still do. Yeah. There you go. We'll find out next week. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> Wendy Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank God you're here. because.